know why, but I really enjoy using this as a point and shoot. It's something that's really hard to be putting into words because, I don't know, in the hand it feels bright, it's light, it's literally what you want for a point and shoot. Compact, enough to put inside your pocket, right? And it's so light, it feels like it's not even in your pocket. Should point and shoot cameras be this form factor and this light? It could be a possibility. Okay guys, it's the next morning and I'm looking at the footages here while I'm editing this video and I really love this thing. To be honest, I really, really love it. I love the way it looks, like video grainy, like old school, you know, especially the shot where, um, you know, going through the escalator, it just gave you a feel of like early 2000s or like something like that, you know, and I mean, Talking about the size comparison again, I mean, just look at the size. This is my iPhone 13 Pro Max, and this is it. This is the smaller iPhone 5S, and just, I don't know, what what happened to phones being this size? Like, why, why is it, nobody's bought it, I guess. Nobody's really bought this thing, but I really miss phones this size. It's really, it's just something about walking down the street and just, being able to hold your phone like this, okay? Like, and it just feels like, I don't know, so comfortable. And because you can hold it in your hand so comfortably, you feel like you're ready to take a shot anytime the opportunity comes. And that was me yesterday. I was just, I had this in my hand the entire time, had no fatigue in my hand, and it just felt like the perfect point and shoot cameras. The reason why I took this out for photo shoots is because 
I was thinking about getting a, a tiny, maybe pocketable camera, you know, something like the Canon Elf line. But I realized I had this kicking around and this can do airdrop. This can add filters right on top of it. You can post this right to social media if you wanted to. Uh, what else? It had time lapse option, even slow mo option. Um, it shoots in 1080p, uh, you know, and it was just, it was available. It was there. I already had, I've already had it with me. And I don't know. I think this has got to be the perfect point and shoot. It has to be. <laughs> and I decided that I'm going to be taking this with me on my travels to Southeast Asia. So I'm going to be using this as well uh, instead of buying a a, a Canon camera for the, for my travels. I do have other cameras, but I think this would be perfect for the ones where you kind of just want to do an impromptu shoot, or maybe you want to vlog and you just want to do a real quick one. It's so small and discreet that if you have like those emerging thoughts, you can just whip this out really quick and just start recording right away. It's probably even faster than pulling out a, a big camera like this one that I'm shooting on or even you know the pocket 3 or whatever that I have it's just so quick and a easy I just really wanted to say this is such a great phone really if you have a chance to grab one or pick one up and you're really into photography and video and you you know you kind of want to look for that old school look this is definitely something you should look into it's it's actually pretty shocking to me how I'm how much I like this. <laughs>